So what's up guys and welcome to the vlog. Today we're gonna to be working on the truck. I'm gonna be replacing the little power control module inside the truck so I can have accessories. And basically that is a little device where all of your, say like the exhaust and the heated seats and all that stuff is located. Right below that is just an open space that doesn't have anything. So I've ordered a new module from a guy, his business is called 4th Gen Ram Electronics specifically made for this particular series of truck. And what it does is a plug and play. You pull out the old unit and you put the new unit right back in, you plug it in, everything plugs together. And I'll kind of walk you through the process, show you what all that does and what all that means. But it's gonna basically allow me to have accessories, five accessories like light bars, a horn, things of that nature, without having to have separate aux switches in my truck because it's all in that one panel. So we're gonna get that done today. Hopefully I can get it done today. I got about four hours to do this. so. Ooh, hope I can do it, but that's good. Okay, so this is the panel I was talking about. Basically, you've got traction control, tow haul, exhaust, the park front and rear sensors. So what basically happens is that unit comes out and the new unit goes back in. So that allows you, if you can see right below here, where it's just a solid piece of plastic, That'll basically give me five accessories that I can have for, like I said, for either light bars, horns, whatever I want to put on this truck that I would otherwise have to wire up a whole new switch for. So should be pretty cool. The first step in doing this is this has to come out. Basically, the entire dash has to come out of the truck. And to do that, you pull this little rubber piece up, this little tray that sits in here, pull that up, and there's two screws. You got to take those two screws out to access back behind there. Okay, and once you pull out those screws, this little thing pops out with a little bit of persuasion. Actually took me a little bit. You gotta see these little tabs here. You gotta kind of pry down and up and then pull this out. So that's how you access down into there. All right, so next I guess you gotta take out these two screws right here because it seems like this panel is attached to those two screws. So we'll get those taken out real quick. Next step is taking this whole dash completely out. And to do that, you got to grab up here and you got to pull hard. And that's going to be kind of scary because I don't want to break anything, but we're going to give this a nice little tug and see what happens. Alright, I know it's kind of hard to see down in there, but you have to remove all of these wires. There's like five different sets of wires down there. See, all these little wires have to come out. You have to unplug all those wires down in there to get that panel completely out. Alright, y'all, once you get the wires unplugged from the back of that like you just saw, this whole thing just comes right out. And there you go. The whole panel is out. Alright, then the next step is to remove this. This is what you're trying to get out right here. And there's four screws holding it on. Two over here, and then there's two right here. So pop those out and this whole module will come right out. All right, once you get those screws out, this just pops right out. And there's your module. That's what we're gonna replace right there. Kinda hard to see back up in there, but see that massive wires coming out? Let's see if I can point to it. Way back up in there, right there. You gotta cut a slit in that boot to slide that wire through, see that little white wire. I'll show you the top side here in just a minute. But what I did is I taped this one section. This is what actually pulled through. So I taped that section and put a wire on that section with a piece of string and pulled it through and it actually worked out pretty good. I'm gonna leave that string on there and use that to pull it the rest of the way. But let me go show you the top side real quick. All right, so there's there's the top side of it. You can see the white wire going through. I'm gonna route all that and make it look pretty. I'm gonna wrap that in the black automotive conduit as soon as I get everything all wired and ran and done. So, but that was the hardest part of the job is getting that thing cut through and fit through because man, that is a massive wire right there. 
All right, then I just ran that wire underneath the dash, pulled it out here where the whole box and everything goes, the whole face kit. Just pulled it out with all the other wires. Now we'll plug everything back up and see how it works. All right, y'all, so there we have it. This is the old module. This is the new module. I transferred the brake controller over. You'll notice I'm actually missing my park sensor, the front park sensor. I've contacted the guy that built this and he's basically gonna send me a new panel. So, but I can still run this for now until the panel comes in and just swap out the panels. So I'm gonna put this in for now and then I guess when the new part's in in a couple of weeks, I'll just pull this back out, pop this new one back in. All right, y'all, so to get my main unit back in, I actually have to take out this bottom piece right here because the way this goes back in, it doesn't quite fit back in. It comes out, but I can't rock it back in, so I have to take this piece out. All right, y'all, so the last thing we have to do is go up front and make the connections, the power connections, and then attach the box. I got to find a place for that, but the inside is pretty much done. Looks awesome. All right, y'all, so the first thing I want to do is take off the negative battery cable because we don't want anything to go crispy fry. So we'll get this taken off real quick and then we'll hook up the positive. All right, y'all, so we're not actually taking off the positive. What we're gonna do is hook up these two wires. Both your 12 volt wires go to the hot side of this battery. That's gonna power all of your auxiliary switches because auxiliary one and two, which that's what these are right here, these are all your auxiliary wires. Auxiliary 1 and 2 do not require the key to be on to operate. So you hook 1 and 2 up, you put the button, it, it functions. 3, 4, and 5, you have to have the accessory, the key on or the accessory on to have them work. And we'll go back and hook up the negative and then we'll be good to go all right so that's it looks like everything is done now we'll hook up the box put some fuses in and see what happens all right y'all so the only thing i have left to do is basically mount this box and what i'm going to do is mount this to the fuse block i'm going to take the cover off put pan head screws facing up because you have to be able to access in here this is where all of your fuses and your relays are so you have to be able to get to all of this. So I can't bury this in the truck somewhere. So I'm gonna leave it all open right here. Got the 12 volt hooked up, two sides. Gonna run this down here. As soon as I get an accessory, this is gonna run down here like this, all my accessories. So I'll run all my wires down that way. All right guys, so there you go. Got it all mounted. It's nice and solid. Looked at all the fuses inside. I've actually tested auxiliary two, which is where my backup lights are gonna be on. Tested it, put a fuse in here, tested it here. Everything worked great. So inside looks good. This looks good. Gonna get this buttoned up. Then I'll start running the lights. All right, y'all, so there you have it. Everything's installed. Everything's put back where it needs to be. Here's your accessory switches. You can see what I had before. Those four. Again, I'm missing the fifth one, but they're sending me the new panel. But here, when you hit this switch, you can see the light turn on for each one of the auxiliaries. So it's all done. Everything's ran and installed. Wires are looking good. Look at this, works great. These are the two that are constant powered. These are the three that don't have power unless you have your accessory or the truck started. But check out how bright these lights are. We're gonna end the vlog right here, guys. If you like this video, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, tell a friend, tell your family, tell your preacher, tell your girlfriend, tell your wife, tell your wife and your girlfriend. We'll see you guys in the next one.